All right, so I'm excited. <clears throat> Let me do that again. <laughs> I'm excited to say Beth and Kendall here are the new owners of Ivy Acres Homestead. Hi. And they're going to keep our chickens. Yes. And uh, I know we've connected and we've shared about the property. Yes. What do you like about the place? Why are you? Why do you want to live here? Oh my gosh, there's so much. First off, we feel really blessed. Um, Brian and Wendy, uh, we did have that connection, and we came out here, saw the property. I think the first thing we noticed right off the bat was actually the driveway. The tree-lined driveway just felt like something really special was going to be at the other end. Okay. So, and as soon as we walked um, up to the front of the house and made our way in, it just something about it really felt like home. Actually, mm -hmm. something about it just felt right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, um, and then of course all the details, the chickens. I we were kind of joking, and I just said, "Oh, I wonder if they'd leave the chickens." You know, and then <laughs> and then he said that. So, I was actually really excited. Um, I think I think all the details, like even just the logs um, that you have out that you've created, and you now they have daffodils in some of them, and I think just all the lush plants. I think that's kind of the most special part about it to me. The life. The life. Yeah. The life out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Um, we talked a lot about and told you how uh, important it was for us to find somewhere tranquil that was very re removed from. Uh, our day-to-day -day lives at yeah. work and stuff and yeah. uh, that was something that coming here you could immediately feel especially out on like the back deck and uh, the yeah. first I think the first night we came in toward it it was it was dark out already when we got here and we walked yeah. out on the back deck and the moon was just kind of shining through yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the trees yeah. and the moon's really important to both of us and it just felt yeah very right yeah, yeah, that was special. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you said the name of the new place, Simple, Simple Moon, Moon Farm. Mm -hmm. Farm. So that, that right there, we just felt like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's ser serendipity or, you know, mm -hmm. what, what have you, or fate. Um, that just felt right because we noticed the moon through the trees right then, like right before we talked to you about it. So, oh, nice. yeah, nice. yeah. So I think, I think that, yeah. I mean, of course, we could go on and on. Um, the entire property is perfect. Um, the sound of the creek in the back, it's incredibly peaceful. And of course the home itself, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. And you bought it from your uncle yeah. Yeah. and it has sentimental value to you. Um, and I think to us knowing that the people before it cared, or people before obviously, cared so much about it. Um, I think that was really cool. I think everything about the backstory is really cool and the layout of the home is really nice. It was just what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing I wanted to say, I worked for the Red Cross for 25 years, so having a sense of uh, service to the community is kind of important to me. And I think it's pretty cool because <laughs> Beth here is a firefighter and Kendall is a police officer so yeah. so that's that's yeah. pretty cool yeah yeah i mean really like the yeah service right and you brought that up about working for red cross and i was like that's that's really cool mm -hmm. that's, you know and we have that in common i guess i don't mm -hmm. know that was something something else that kind of caught my attention um but yeah and that's part of the reason we would like to be somewhere very peaceful and quiet um so we can just unplug and be able to not you know able to unplug from our jobs mm -hmm. and come home and relax. yeah yeah, yeah we're peace. very aware of uh you know mental health and staying up on it mm -hmm. um especially with our lines of work mm -hmm. and how yeah. um, stressful. Mm -hmm. it's stressful and detrimental to your um everything your your cycle your sleep cycle your mm -hmm. all those different things and so at least having somewhere that feels safe to come home to that's really important to us mm -hmm. and like being tucked away in the woods it doesn't feel like there's much of a safer place out there so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's also good that you've got jobs that you're not afraid to get done what needs to be done oh, yeah. you know, you've got to do some us. do some work sometimes yeah. So, yeah. yeah do some hefty work <laughs> <laughs> yeah whether it's cut we cut trees down too so yeah, yeah. yeah we have well so. let me be the first to say welcome home Thank you Thank so you. much, Brian. We really appreciate it. Yeah. We really do. And Wendy too, who we haven't met, you know, yet. <laughs> Not officially, but 
Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> I'm taking Wendy's advice and I'm keeping this video short. I had shot an extensive video sequence of me on my cell phone back in Oregon City on a three-way phone call with Wendy here in Missouri and our real estate agent in Portland. Although all of that was very interesting to me, Wendy's probably right. It was probably a bit much to expect everyone else to wade through. I'm just going to keep about a minute of that conversation and then I'll end this video reading a testimonial that one of the bidders on our property handed me earlier that day during the last open house event. This is a game changer for how I'm going to do business with YouTube. So um, it's just not something I've really I talked to my team about and we're excited. It was huge. And then Brian's presence is a rare, I, I mean, but usually I won't have that. This is just this was a game changer having him there. It made me nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've been worried about. He's so excited. <laughs> yes, but also Don't with talk the, people, Brian. <laughs> I love it, but with the and you, the two of you on YouTube and how adorable you guys are and the connection you two have. I mean, you guys have you ever watched Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street? Yes. It's been a Here while. My Bert and Ernie. You guys are so cute. You're, so. Just, you're just two peas in a pot. The folks I've been talking with about this house have all been expressing some of the same sentiments. One of them wrote a really nice uh, letter about the place. And I wanted to read the first page of it. The first time Mark and I set foot on your property, we were immediately captivated by the energy of a sanctuary that has been nurtured with love and dedication. The garden, quietly resting through this cold season, already exudes a sense of tranquility and promise. The intentionally designed living space, alongside the lush greenery, delightful birdhouses, and smart implementation of nurse logs clearly showcases your commitment to sustainability, self-sufficiency, and a profound bond with nature. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to experience the beauty and serenity of your home. It's evident that every corner of this property has been thoughtfully cultivated with care. Mark, coming from a suburban environment, and having served in the Army to provide support to the American Red Cross in Haiti, is a disabled veteran who finds therapeutic value in the peaceful tranquility of your, that your property provides. His commitment to service for a greater good and his profound respect for nature make your home particularly meaningful to us. Our visits to view your home have not only deepened our admiration, oh, I'm sorry, our, our visits to you our visits to view your home have only deepened our admiration. Each time we discover new nuances and details that reaffirm our desire to become part of this quiet community. My journey began in Estacada, Oregon on a six acre family homestead. There amidst dairy goats, chickens, ducks, geese and rabbits, all regarded as members of the family, instilled a value of coexisting with nature. Our resilience on an underground spring and the serene creek that adorned our land taught me the importance of sustainable living from a young age. Memories of cultivating vegetables, gathering eggs from our contented chickens, making goat milk cheese, and planting 600 Douglas fir with my parents are not just recollections, they are the foundation of my commitment to nurturing the environment I see reflections of my childhood in every aspect of your homestead. A sentiment Mark deeply shares. We envision ourselves not merely as purchasers, but as custodians, eager to honor and continue the legacy. I need to get back to Wendy here. Just a second. Almost done. We envision ourselves not merely as purchasers, but as custodians, eager to honor and continue the legacy you so passionately built. I wish I had three or four of these places to sell some of these folks. 
Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.